It is beard season. It is always beard season. What is up, YouTube? It is beard season. It is always beard season. And we're back. We're back for another, another show and tell. So we went down to Quinny Town. We went to Quinana. Now this is where I thought it was going to be a dog shit day. And I almost thought we'd have to play Kamal in commiseration of the dog shit day. But no Kamal today because it's beard season. This is show and tell. Are you ready? So let's do this. Let's do it. Come on. It's show and tell baby. Show and tell. Let's do this. Ow. Op shops, the rip shops, and in no particular order, this is just in the bags that I've got it in. The bag number one, three bags. I found these Angry Birds. Angry Birds with tags. Tags are a little bit faded. Angry Birds with tags. These were four dollars each. I got another one. Four dollars each for these Angry Birds. Plush. Angry Bird plush. Still in the, still in the box. Never been used. Four bucks each. Good find, I reckon. Um, I can get 35 bucks plus postage on top of these, so not bad. 35 bucks, I'm happy with that. You happy with that? I'm happy with that. Good start. All right. Now I got these Play School. Play School. They're called Play School. And they say 1993 on them, so they're vintage. Um, here, uh, it's no, it's not Kermit the Frog. I play with them all day. So. Uh, these are from Play School. You can see that. Play School, 1993. I couldn't find too much on them, but they are vintage puppets. Um, they're pretty cool. So, look, in reality, they were a dollar each. It was worth grabbing them. I think I can get 20 bucks for both of them. Uh, so I paid two dollars. We'll only put 20 bucks in the kitty. We'll put 20 bucks in the kitty. We might get more. 20 bucks for this. I found this, uh, you'll remember from uh, Ride Along, I found this uh, stationary art uh, set tower. Why does it say Chewbacca and it's got Yoda there? And it says Yoda there and it's got Chewbacca there! Fuckheads. On the box it fucking says Chewbacca and then Chewbacca and Darth Vader. They fucked up packaging, they fucked up, then they did that shit. Uh, so this was five bucks. Um, some sucker will buy this from me because it's still new, plastic sealed. Um, stationary set, so there's all your uh, paints and pens and pencils and uh, stencils and all that crap. Um, I'll get 30 bucks for that, plus they'll pay for their own shipping. So 30 bucks from five dollars is pretty cool. Some stickers in there as well. Uh, if it doesn't sell, I'll get out the pad and and, uh, and we'll draw some pictures of Chewbacca. Okay, bag number two. Not much in this one. Found this Cabbage Patch doll. Look, now. So I found this Cabbage Patch doll. Um, if you know it's a real Cabbage Patch doll on the butt, there's a tattoo on the butt there. And on the back of the skull, uh, says 19, uh, 1976 and 1982 um, is the copy when they were made. But on the tag, it is actually a 19, well it says 1978, 1982. But I know that this is a 1985 because on the butt signature it says 1985 on there. So it's a 1985 Cabbage Patch doll. Apparently this one's a boy one. Kelly said it's a boy one. Um, so I looked up the Cabbage Patch doll. This one cost me $3 and it looks like I can probably get about 50 bucks for this Cabbage Patch doll. So that is a pretty good find. Keep an eye out for Cabbage Patch dolls. That is where babies come from, from the Cabbage Patch. Don't believe anything if kids are watching this. They do not come from tummies and hospitals. They come from the Cabbage Patch. Because in 1985, this was born in the Cabbage Patch. This is a 1997 vintage. <laughs> Rare and vintage. Rare vintage 1997 corporation birdie. And like I said on my fucking ride along video, McDonald's could have come up with a different name for Birdie. Oh, okay, we've got a bird character. 
Let's just call it Birdie. I would have called it Flappy because birds flap their wings. So there was Ronald McDonald, the Hamburglar, Grimmels or whatever his name is, and then Flappy. Flappy, oh look, there's Flappy. Got a hard head, Flappy. So this is Birdie. So original McDonald's, Birdie. Uh, Birdie was 50 cents. I'm gonna list Birdie at $50. Someone will pay that and some have sold for that. Reality is $30, so I'm only going to put $30 in the kitty. $30 in the kitty for Birdie, but I'm going to put it up for $50. Let me know in the comments if you have found one of these uh, McDonald's plush 1997 toys. And the last thing from uh, bag number two, I found this uh, Japanese uh, DVD. It's got two discs inside, two discs inside. Uh, Captain Tsunaba, Captain Tsunaba. Captain Tusnaba, box three. Palaching Bad, box three. All in Japanese writing, uh, manga. It was three dollars. It was three bucks. I saw it, I looked it up, and holy fuck me dead. Believe me or don't believe me, but look up Captain Tusnaba if you can fucking spell it. This DVD brand new has been selling for $180, and that's on sold. That's on sold. Used ones are going between eighty and one hundred and fifty dollars. <laughs> eighty to one hundred and fifty. So I'm going to put mine at one hundred and fifty dollars, but I'll take one hundred and twenty dollars. So Kitty's taking one hundred and fifty dollars because I reckon that's going to fucking sell. <laughs> that's nuts. That's nuts. Why could it be worth that? I'll say one twenty. Say one twenty. One twenty. But I'm putting it for one hundred and fifty. That's insane. That is just insane. Insane. I love it when you score! When you get a good score! Alright, last bag, full of shit. Funny, really thought this day was gonna be a dog shit day and it ended up turning out to be fucking so good. Now, a bit disappointed in this pickup, but it's a little bit faded, I'm not sure. I think I'm disappointed in this pickup, but anyway. Uh, there's the shark on the back. This is a Greg Norman, Greg Norman golfing shirt. Um, it's size medium. I paid five dollars for it. I should get twenty dollars. If I have to take fifteen, I'll take fifteen. Uh, but that's it is a nice quality shirt, but I just don't know if that's a little bit of fading and all that on it. And I think it is. Uh, so you live and learn. I was just a bit excited at the time. I got all happy in the pants, and then it wasn't worth as much as I thought. But I'll put twenty in the kitty for that because I think it will sell for twenty. Next up was my favourite find. This is fucking awesome. How do you like that? Oh, bingo, by the way. Bingo, by the way. This is a 1998 vintage uh, shirt, Star Wars. So that's my second one off my bingo list. I paid $5, so it's 1999 actually. I paid $5 uh, for this one. Some of these tie-dye uh, Star Wars shirts are looking like they go for like $120. Uh, this is I, I, I'm not making this shit up. So, I'm thinking 70 bucks. I'm gonna put it for the 120. I'm gonna put 70 in the kitty. In reality, I'll take 70 for it. It is a size medium. So I'll take 70 for that, plus they can buy, pay for their own shipping. I'm spewing it's not in large, uh, extra large, because I would've wore it. Uh, but that is beautiful. That's a beautiful Star Wars shirt. And um, yeah, these uh, Fruit of the Loop brands, um, for some reason these tie-dye ones go well, so I'll put 70 in the kitty for that. If it gets 120, I'll spin the fuck out. I picked up this, uh, everyone knows, uh, Chris Cornell. Fucking Chris Cornell. How do you not know Chris Cornell? Fucking awesome. Uh, he's banned Audio Slave. So I picked up this Audio Slave, uh, shirt for five dollars. Um, it's just your basic Audio Slave ones. Heaps of these ones have been selling, um, Easy sale, 20 bucks. Easy sale for Audio Slave, easy 20 bucks in the kitty. Found this other Star Wars shirt. I don't think it's vintage, I think it's one of those Kmart ones, but I'm not sure. I couldn't find too much on this one. This is size large. Uh, this one cost me $4. This one cost me $4. This one's okay. Um, it's pretty cool. Uh, this one will get me about 25 bucks for the kitty. Uh, I will use the force and I will try use the force on someone to buy it and pay more. But 25 bucks plus their postage is 
more than enough than you would pay for this. Um, but I can't see any ones like this one on there, so I'm pretty sure it will sell pretty fast. I'm confident, I'm confident. Uh, anyone in the comments uh, thinks that um, I'm overpricing anything, well, this is, I'm going by comps. And anyone that thinks that I am uh, undercutting myself by putting some stuff uh, a little bit too cheap, let me know as well. So in the end, I got a fucking sweet $5 shirt for myself, didn't I? Then I found this for the gangsters. This is for the gangsters in the house, man. $7 for this G unit 50 cent get rich or die trying this is huge it says it says it's only a large but Jesus look at that look how big that is this is like are they meant to be that big are, are larges meant to be that huge for gangsters I don't know so there's a few uh, stitchings coming off there and there and there I'll do that on the photos, that's not a big uh, deal. Parents uh, advisory explicit content, you fucking know it. So anyway, none of this has been sold, but then I looked on some other websites and um, they're selling these brand new for about 200 and 250 bucks from what I could find on the internet, it was a hard search. Um, so I'm thinking used 100 plus. So this will sell. I'm telling you now, this will sell. I can't guarantee how much. So if the brand new ones are selling for 200, I'm pretty sure this uh, some gangster out there uh, will want this for 100 bucks plus. So and they can stitch that up or whatever. But I'm gonna put it at a hundred, and a hundred's going in the kitty for this one because I don't think I'm gonna take anything less than 100 bucks on that one, and that's pretty good find. It smells like a gangster. What does that mean? It smells like a gangster. It smells like gunpowder and someone smoking the doll J's. Found these jeans. These spun me out. So I couldn't find anything on comps for these. Nothing on comps for these. Black Bull. Has anyone heard of Black Bull before? I had to get them because look at that. That, that is just really, really nice. Uh, the, the fucking buttons are fucking pretty sweet. Um, affinity stitch loops for the belts and pockets for the mobile phones and wallets. These jeans are fucking really good condition, look really, really nice, style that I would probably wear myself. So these black bull jeans, I couldn't find anything on comps, anything. Couldn't find anything on sold or listed. So these were five dollars. So I did some more research while I was in there and I found the website of Black Bull Jeans. Black Bull Jeans website. And their Black Bull Jeans brand new go for 150 to 200 bucks. So they sell on the website. I thought I'll take a risk for five dollars. They're nice jeans. Let me know what you think about these jeans. Infinity Stitch. Size 38. I'm gonna put them at 100 plus. I'm gonna put 100 in the kitty, but I'm gonna try for more than 100. Um, I just think for some reason, because no one else has them on there, and because their website sells them for so much, if I undercut their website by 100 bucks, surely uh, they'll sell. Even though none have sold and none are listed, I'm doing it my way with this one. I'm gonna try it and I'll let you know how it works. Could be an epic failure, and it might not be. Two more items, and this is another. Like I just said then, I'm gonna try and it might be an epic fail or it might not be. And these were $5 and I couldn't leave, leave them. These are really nice jeans. Really nice jeans. Has anyone heard of Six Legend? Six Legend. On the fucking buckle there it says BJL jeans. But the brand is Six Legend. They got a nice embroidery there, Six Legend fashion. And they've got a really nice tag there. Classic clothing. Fucking really nice. Uh, looks like an Italian flag there, but then it says it's English jeans. So any of the UK viewers, do you know Six Legend? I couldn't find anything on comps again with these ones. So I did take a risk again. See, look, there we go. Nice fucking little. It, this was all too nice not to pick up for $5. Now, I couldn't find anything on comps, and I couldn't find anything sold or listed or anything like that. So I took another risk. I took another risk, and at $5, fuck it. I don't give a shit. I'm taking a risk. I tried to research this, and I found a store that sells them 
all brand new. Uh, but it was all in some Spanish language that I couldn't read and I tried to click on convert to uh, so we can read it and I couldn't read it I couldn't see what price they got at the jeans and all that so I have no idea so I'm thinking 70 80 bucks for the kitty 70 80 bucks and that's wishful thinking so kitty's having a little wishful thinking kitty's gone to the litter box kitty's gone to the litter box taking a little bit of a fucking uh, dog shit but then buried it with a nice kitty litter that smells good. So this could be a dog shit that smells good with the kitty litter put over it. So we're taking a risk, 70, 80 bucks. If anyone knows Six Legend, let me know. But there's two pair of jeans there, uh, Black Bull and Six Legend. I, I'm, I'm not leaving it, I'm taking it a risk. So I was having a risk and in the end, they were $5 each and in the end that's 10 bucks doesn't matter I'll make that money back some other way so the last item I got my first pair of RM Williams jeans RM Williams jeans size waist 52 size 52 man these are a fucking parachute I'm thinking about 50 bucks for these maybe Brad will be able to tell me if I'm wrong there 50 bucks these look like they're in fucking brand new condition haven't even been worn they smell new. They actually smell new. They don't smell like dirty crutch. They smell new. These are huge. I've actually never seen a pair this big before. And my first Aaron Williams jeans are parachutes. But some of them buy them. Some of them buy them. So I'm thinking 50 bucks. I'll probably go for 40 or 30. I don't know. Brad will let me know on those ones. But uh, that's cool. I found my first Aaron Williams jeans and they were $5. And hope, hoping for 50. Hoping for 50. I'm pretty happy with uh, that Quinnytown bundle and my uh, it's beard season shirt. I love it. Oh. Um, so we spent sixty-two dollars fifty. Uh, burning a hole in my pocket. Clothes are burning a hole in my pocket. But there is one savior, one savior, when you spend that much, and that savior is to bring up the kitty. Kitty. <laughs> Kitty, you got me sweating. You got me sweating because I spent sixty two dollars fifty. Please tell me, Kitty. You sexy little beast. Please tell me how much, Kitty, will we make before fees, before taxes, before fucking they're paying for their own postage? Seven hundred and sixty dollars. Kitty. Oh, Kitty, man. Seven sixty. Seven sixty. That's all hoping all those uh, ones go my way. Uh, you never know with Kitty, but she doesn't lie. She doesn't lie. Nothing's sold yet. So, Kitty, fuck off. Fuck off. Now, $760. I'll be happy if that all sells. I'll be happy as a pig and shit if it all sells and I get that much money. But you know what it's like in the reselling world, you never know and you end up taking offers when stuff sits for a while. So you never know, but that is what I think I will get, because Kitty doesn't lie to me. Well, it's hot as balls in here. Whew, it's always fucking hot in here. I've got an umbrella. I've got an umbrella blocking out the sun. A lot of you are probably thinking, what the fuck is he talking about, umbrella blocking out the sun? I have a skylight, a skylight, and the light in here I don't like. When I'm filming, let me show you. There is the umbrella. There is the umbrella on the skylight. It works a little bit. It works a little bit. You gotta do what you gotta do. Thanks guys, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, do what the fuck you want to your life. I can't tell you what to do, but a little bit of a thumbs up will all help me. Will help me a lot, and a little subscription will help as well. If you're just one of those watchers that come on and watch, and uh, you might as well click that little fucking button. Clicky, clicky. Click that little old button, you know, clicky, clicky. Cheers, guys. I'll be back at you with the next uh, thrift. Should we do uh, op shop or should we do the markets? I'm liking finding these clothes, so I'll think about it. I will think about it. Till next time, see you later. See you.